Hi there, Lizard here from Isterus. Um Today I'm going to do a quick demo of the Electro Harmonix Cockfight, which is a cocked wah kind of pedal, or with an expression pedal, a full wah pedal really. Um, but it's got quite a lot of interesting features that um, on on your standard wah, and I think it's a really, really cool design, cool little idea. <laughs> So that's the box, um, and in there you get all the usual kind of stuff like warranty card, manual, some stickers, just general rubbish, and also they give you a power supply, which um, it's quite unusual really because it's just a um, nine volt centre negative standard um, power supply it needs, so it's unusual for pedal makers to get put that in there with it. But anyway. So it's got quite a lot of controls that make it quite unique. You've got volume for the just overall level to balance the effect because a wah can kind of boost the signal because it, it adds so much treble um, into it so it appears a lot louder. Um, so you can balance that with your dry signal quite well which is a feature a lot of wah pedals don't have because they're just standard on and off and just the, just the wah. And then you've got the frequency control so this is where you can set the frequency cutoff of the wah. Um, I suppose that's similar to more kind of complex wahs like the um, the Crybaby Q, whatever it's called, 355 or whatever, I can't remember, um, and some other more um, sort of advanced or more feature packed wah pedals. But the idea of this pedal is so that you can do what they, what's called the cocked wah thing, which is where the name cockfight comes from. Um, which is where you'd leave a wah pedal in one position just to get that kind of sound to play like um, either a lead or a riff or whatever but it's just like having a tone control at your feet effectively. <laughs> A famous sort of use of that is probably Dire Straits' um, Money for Nothing. Um, that sort of the main riff in that, that's using a coxwar and countless other things. But so it enables you to set this free preset frequency and just kick it in with the pedal without having to find it with the wah treadle with your foot, which is a bit erratic and kind of can go wrong quite easily. Um, so here you can set it in a specific place and it's always going to be perfectly exactly where you left it. But other than just that, this pedal has so many more kind of features to it. You have different voicings. So you have one called cry on this switch here, one called cry and one called talk. The cry is your standard sort of wah sound and the talk one is more of a vowel type sound um, which I'll show you. Um, and another feature of the um, the wah section of this is this bottom uh, potentiometer here. So when you have it fully off it's functioning like a standard wah pedal so it's affecting all of your signal and generally what happens in that case is most of the low end just disappears. Um, so what this enables you to do is leave that bottom end in there so it, it's obviously got some sort of crossover circuitry um, and it runs that alongside the wire circuitry so the wire stuff you're doing is only affecting the, um, the upper register, the, the treble frequencies and all the bottom frequencies are left in there so it, 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 that alone is really cool from what I've been playing with it, it kind of um, it makes a wah sort of more um, usable in a lot more situations because it doesn't sound so harsh and um, kind of overpowering you can make it a lot more of a subtle sort of effect which is a really really cool idea <laughs>
So as well as this, it also has an entire fuzz section, and obviously electroharmonics are well known for their fuzz, with the uh, Big Muff being a prime example. But it gives you a basic uh, fuzz pedal that sounds really good. You've just got a drive control and a tone control for it. Um, and it enables you with this switch here to have the fuzz off, so you can use it entirely without the fuzz, obviously. Um, and you can also put the fuzz before or after the wire effect, so you've got pre and post on this switch. It's a three-way, so you've got pre, fuzz off, and post. Um, which is really cool, because you obviously get very different sounds if you place any kind of drive effect before or after a wire wire. So that enables you to just do it on the fly and kind of makes finding sounds quite easy. And the last thing it has on the um, fuzz side of things is the bias control. Uh, which is another one of these little pots, like the bottom one. Uh, and that fully clockwise um, is standard, and then this basically, as you lower it, it drops the voltage to the transformer that's doing the clipping for the fuzz. Um, so when you get it fully anti-clockwise, it basically simulates a kind of dying battery sound, where the, the transistor's not getting enough power, and it just sort of splutters and dies and cuts what sometimes called gated fuzz, um, but you've got a whole range in between there which gives you quite a lot of sound variations. So I'll just go through and start showing you some, um, some of the sounds really. <laughs> First of all I'll show you just the, the clean sound coming through the amp, just clean channel on the Marshall. Um, that's it, no reverb, nothing at the moment. So just straight up, pretty plain uh, sound. So at the moment on here, I've got the bottom all the way off so this is going to be functioning like a normal wah. I've got it on the crybaby setting and the frequency is set kind of part of the way up and I'm just going to sweep through that frequency and um, show you the sort of different sounds you can get basically. So this enables you to, this is just using it in its most basic way really, just um, letting you set a particular frequency for whatever kind of nasal sort of sound you want basically. So um, you can kind of hear if I swoop this filter, uh, the frequency control kind of quite quickly, you'll see it sounds basically like a wah. <laughs> um, but then you have the, uh, the option to plug in an expression pedal. Um, I'm just using a Roland EV5 but pretty much any um, expression pedal will work. So now the frequency control basically sets the upper limit of the wah, which is a really cool thing to do. So you can um, 
control the uh, the swoop or the sweep of it just to a very narrow band or as wide as you want. So I'm going to have it kind of set somewhere in the middle and and whereas at its maximum setting and that's to me that's much more like a crybaby basically in that position that sort of Um, or you can make it really, really narrow um, by bringing that frequency control back. So you have a kind of very subtle wah wah. And I, I think this is a really useful thing because a lot of the times I've felt that um, I've just got a standard original crybaby and a lot of the times I feel it's too harsh for a particular part I'm doing or something. So you, you could have this kind of roll, not on full, just kind of roll back a bit, that's about just under three quarters. And it sounds a little bit less abrasive and aggressive really. And to take that even further, what electroharmonics have done is put this bottom control in. So I'm going to move this to, it's now at about halfway. And this is going to let some of the unwired signal through, basically, from the low end. Put that on maximum. And if we backed off the frequency, you see, we've now got a really, really subtle sort of wah. And compare that to a kind of this is what I think makes it sound more like a crybaby really. Be a lot a lot more uh, a lot more processed or well, a lot more affected. <laughs> And then without the bottom. So you can see it's basically allowing you to um, just leave the low end in, which you normally lose entirely with a wah wah, which is a really cool um, feature. So now we're going to move on to the, the cry and talk modes. And the, I've only been showing you in cry so far, so now we're going to move it into talk. And this is more kind of vowel like sounds, hence the talk name. <laughs> And 
obviously I'm using this with the with the expression pedal but you could use it without the expression pedal and just find a, a frequency spot that you like. And again, you can use that bottom control to, to leave some of that low end in. Which I think makes this, this sound a bit more usable. I prefer the cry one really, but um, having the low end in it makes this kind of uh, better sounding to me. And And obviously the um having the expression pedal plugged in basically put just puts this frequency control kind of on your foot. Although you can set where it cuts off so you can limit it. So back on the cry one you see. So the one thing I haven't shown you yet at all is the fuzz part. So let's put the fuzz after the while, which is a more usual way around of doing it. And at the moment I've got the bias set to fully clockwise, which means it's a normal setting effectively. Um, and we've got the tone and drive for the for the uh, for the fuzz. <laughs> Um, and then you can put the fuzz pre, which gives a very different sound. And finally, I'm going to show you on this fuzz part of it the um, the bias control. So let's leave the fuzz post for now. You can see it's really starting to get nasty and dirty and rough.
So you see, the, if you play really lightly, because it's simulating that dying battery thing now, um, it just starts cutting off the notes. This is with the bias completely anti-clockwise, so dying battery, but with it um, pre-wire. Quite a cool little extra feature, really. Um, so let's just go through some cocked wire sounds um, with the with the fuzz. <laughs> take out the bottom a bit. Using it with the expression pedal and showing you how the frequency control now acts as a sort of cut off point for the. Uh so, wherever you leave, leave this, that's the, the front toe end point of the of the wire pedals range. So if we have it back here It's a really well thought out pedal. It's kind of basically giving you this sort of cocked wire effect, but with the addition of an expression pedal, you've got a full wah wah with a lot of extra controls and a fuzz pedal thrown in with some kind of unique little options on that as well, with the, the ability to place it before or after the wah circuit and that bias control. So you actually get quite a lot in one pedal, and it's it's a very small pedal as well, it's one of their sort of mid-size chassis, so really small and really light, um, with quite a lot of cool sounds in it. There's endless different variations you can do with all these knobs and switches and stuff, and then obviously just using as a wah with, you don't have to use the fuzz, you can use just an overdrive or a distortion with it um, to get a whole other range of sounds, so I think it's a really interesting, quite unique pedal really. Um, 
well designed, um, usual electroharmonic standard of sound and quality, so all round win. Wow, 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 wow,